let's look at this very interesting part part 7 see this channel cloud guru is all about helping you with cloud certifications okay so please join by clicking a button below the video and become a member a cloud kernel member will give you access to so many questions okay today we wish for a day when a jew and an iranian can be happy together the war is going on so i thought we should spread love instead of hate subscribe to this channel and you hit the bell icon to subscribe and you know what uh, this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications which cloud platform primarily uh, aws gcp azure and so on so we are totally focused on these three cloud platforms we also do content around w and snowflake so please do subscribe this will help us put more content if there are more viewers we would be motivated to put more content for you so this is the question now uh, there is a company they do a lot of speech to text that is their core capabilities or core business they work on now if there are sensitive information they need to identify and redact that sensitive information like credit cards people using credit cards so credit card numbers that is sensitive or social security number if you are in us everybody has an ssn so that is also confidential and what product do we use we use amazon transcribe that is a, a service in amazon which helps you with speech to text conversion so if we look at the options here we want to address this requirement that means a credit card number social security number such pii we call it personal identifier information they should be uh, redacted or masked so if we talk about speaker identification we just say that okay uh, between this to this uh, the speaker name was john between this minute to this minute the speaker name was martin and so on so that is a different requirement for redaction see i will use common sense i see redact so i will go with content redaction like it's just so simple vocabulary filtering like if you know that certain words you want to filter out so you can do that that is called vocabulary filtering maybe certain bad words or so on and similarly custom vocabulary also so this one content redaction would be our final answer so let us look at the next question here so there is a company so this company has a lot of employees and they all work on what do they work on recommendation engine recommendation systems that is what they all work so if you see the people who are sitting they all look alike they have similar specs okay and they all are making use of amazon personalize so this is a service in amazon amazon personalize so a new user interaction data keeps arriving in real time now these new interactions they want to incorporate in the recommendations with minimal delay suppose at 1 pm we got this new data so mostly try that by 1 10 pm 1 uh, 1 10 you should have this accommodated or incorporated in your recommendations so the first option is saying guys uh, i will retrain every hour retraining every hour you are retraining the model every hour see first of all as you see you have so much of work you see the stickers so much of work 
this guy has to do so will it be feasible that we every hour this guy comes back and retrains the model no this cannot be an ideal solution so that is why this is wrong now when we say guys let's perform a full batch update of the data set so this means when you try to do a full batch update see you only got suppose two data sets or two records now you are saying irrespective of that i will do a full batch update so it is going to take lot of time why will you do that why will you retrain or do a full batch update in this case it will take a lot of time this is not a feasible solution not a good solution this will not work and now this is i will export the historical data and manually update the recommendation logic this will also not the historical data and manual updates see man anything manual uh, does not go with real time this portion is telling near time real time or near real time or real time okay so anything you do manually you will never be able to uh, pro provide a real time scenario or cater to that scenario that will never work you are not a robot okay so what else you can do this is correct you use the put events api so using this api you bring this real time user interaction data to amazon personalize it's just that you have to bring this data in here and once the data comes the service can use this updated then use it to update the recommendation dynamically with minimum delay it will automatically update you just bring the data it will automatically update so this is a very good and happy scenario your put events api the moment data comes in real time data it streams okay and brings it to personalize and then personalize will automatically work and update its recommendation for this data set so this is a perfect solution a very good solution option c you put you use the put events api to stream real time user interaction data to amazon personalize okay this is the next one there is a company and they are into building fraud detection systems they do a lot of work around creating fraud detection systems in this case since this is all about aws certification they are uh, using aws services for this so to build this fraud detection system they are making use of sagemaker sagemaker obviously this certification ai certification uh, majority times the question is around sagemaker okay so you need to deploy this model and what will this do this model do it will provide predictions and you want these predictions to happen very fast that means very low latency means extremely fast and you want to do it for real time transaction processing this is very crucial for real time you want to include that in your prediction so fast so which deployment option you will use in stage maker that is a question which deployment option we should use okay see batch option never works when portion is talking about real time if you want to run it on large data sets and you have these data sets offline with you then you use this batch option otherwise batch transform will not work now sage maker process see batch transform we already spoke here batch transform is a, a crap solution when the requirement is real time now sage maker processing this is for uh, data pre processing and model evaluation it is not for real time requirements so this is wrong now sage maker serverless inference this is also wrong see sage maker serverless inference problem is they have a problem with cold start that means see imagine you are staying in chicago very cold and lot of snow so your car immediately you cannot take out you will have to warm it because that's a cold start problem if you just start your car and go out your engines will 
most likely get damaged in few months or years. So, stage maker serverless inference is wrong, it will not work. No real time inference, see, we are talking about real time. So, obviously, option C has real time word in it. Real time inference with dedicated instance. See, what this does is it is directly uh, passing the load to that compute which is always on. So, there is no cold start problem. This works perfectly fine because the the engine is already on imagine like you have a car which is the ignition is always on the moment you go down you can straight away drive in chicago you don't have to warm or you don't have to do a cold start because your engine is always on similarly here the instance is always on and that is why it works perfectly in this case so our answer would be option c Option C says real time inference with dedicated instances. This is our answer. Now, please subscribe to this channel, Cloud Guru. Please subscribe. Uh, like we told during this war time, uh, Jews and Iranian sitting together like brothers and, and telling you to subscribe to this Cloud Guru channel. Like I tell, this channel is focused around cloud certifications, AWS. Azure and GCP. Okay. There are 1000 plus videos on this channel to help you clear certifications on various levels, various levels, uh, entry, intermediate, advanced. So, this brings us to the end of this part. I hope you liked this part and the explanation we gave. How did we arrive at the right answer? We usually scan through all the options. So, if one question has four and four options, these are slightly different topics. So, imagine with three questions in this video, we have almost touched 12 different topics. And that, that is how you build knowledge. The key is during the exam, reading the question, how do you apply that knowledge? How do you use that common sense to weed out the wrong options and arrive at the right answer? That is the key. So stay focused, stay tuned. We will post many more such contents.